Welcome to Just a Bit of Home. Today we're going to work on a new spring project that I'm trying to develop my own new spring decor for my home. Um, I went to the uh, local thrift shop that goes back into the community and I picked up these books and I took the covers off of them and uh, just paid a dollar for each book. Money goes back into the community so it's great and you know I try to pick books that people probably wouldn't read. So I wanted them to be different sizes though. Some people like them to be like all the same size and stacked tightly. I was going for a little bit of a, a staggered look. So I specifically picked out different sizes. And ironically, I'm just looking at the titles and I'm kind of having a little laugh here. This one says, The Hard Way, Man and Wife, and Great Canadian Speeches. So <laughs> The Hard Way, The Man and the Wife made Great Canadian Speeches, I guess. Well, anyways, I'm just being silly. First, I'm going to figure out where I want them to avoid having to paint them all. Because you could paint them all and then stick them all together, but that just doesn't make sense to me. I started by gluing the three books together with the spines facing all in the same direction. I centered my books for, as per my personal choice, and I glued the books with a hot glue gun and in several key spots. I then painted the books with art lines, white chalk paint, after applying two coats of chalk paint and allowing it to dry, I used a 150 grit sandpaper followed by a 600 grit sandpaper to distress and smooth out the surfaces. I used a damp cloth to wipe off the residue and then I allowed it to dry. I used a Cricut to make my vinyl stencil for the wording and I applied it with clear transfer paper. Once the stencil was applied, I used a thin layer of Mod Podge. By applying Mod Podge to the stencil, this will prevent any bleeding of the paint or marker, whichever you choose to use. For this project, I used a permanent black marker to fill in the stencil voids. After completing the stencils, I decided that I wanted to decorate the top of the book. I began with wrapping dollar store twine around the books and adhering it with hot glue gun to make it look like it had been tied. I then decided to add one of my own personal uh, choices, which is a seven petal flower, and you can find the design, template, and tutorial all on my Facebook page. I did wrap the flower with some dried eucalyptus leaves, and then I added branches of dried eucalyptus leaves to the book. Using a few of the loose leaves, I incorporated them to hide the glue and the ends of the paper flower. Once I was finished, there wasn't anything left to do. I am actually really pleased with how this turned out. This was a first time trying a project of this type and I'm really happy with how it looks. If you like this project or if you've liked this video or you'd like to see more from me, you can find me on my Facebook page, Just a Bit of Home. I'm also on Instagram and Pinterest and you're probably watching this on YouTube. If you like this, be sure to subscribe. I'm always doing something different.